Welcome back to Mad Cardigan and our continuing playthrough of Skyrim Clear the Wi Clear the Realm, excuse me. I am so glad you're all joining me for this. We're standing here warming ourselves by the fire with our best buddy Vilkus. And uh, I think we're going to find a dragon. Kinds Grove is this way. We can travel together or split. According up to Dolphine here. Your choice. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to run halfway across the map. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, it's quite a hike to get over there. Okay, we'll go to Gallows Rock. We've cleared this already. I love that dwarven armor. That's some of the coolest looking stuff from the base game, you know. All right, let's have a nice uneventful jog through the through the woods here. There is no way I'm not going to get attacked at some point. Check. Duck every once in a while. Check your stealth meter. See, we almost stepped on a bear. Alright, Mr. Bear. I think he's seen us, but for whatever reason, he's not attacking right now. He's a toughie. He's got a little bit going on there. Shooting right in the dick. Bear dick. You can't win this. Tell him, Vilkas. Show him your axe. We'll ask him a question. Love it. Bears taking cover. <laughs> True Nords never back down. I am a Breton, however. Bear sneakier than I am. What the hell? Oh, okay. Oh, watch this. Oh, saw it coming. Even the bears dodged my shit. This bear doesn't take as much effort. My aim is shit as it is. Come on, Vilky. Oh. like the taste of that. Good job, buddy. Okay, our uneventful jog has become eventful so far. Bear's not bad. Let's just keep the dragons to a minimum, shall we? I wonder if you play this game and you never go see the Greybeards. I'm assuming the dragons won't start attacking randomly then. Oh shit, I almost stepped on a giant. Boy, that would have been extremely eventful. If you've never been hit by a giant rocketed straight in the air, you haven't lived. Nice Yosemite looking area here. Steamy gas. guys are at. I'm getting close. I've got the icon. I see rooftops. Kind, Kinds Grove, right? Yeah, Kinds Grove. Oh, where are you? What do you want? No, you don't want to go up there. A dragon, it's attacking. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I'll feign ignorance well, of dragon. No, not yet. It Certainly flew over not the here because of me. On the old dragon mound. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. 
So you built a town right next to a dragon's mound. This sounds like a Pompeii type uh, issue. Okay, see a dragon floating up there. Looks like he's just waiting on us. Where the hell's Dolphine at anyway? Oh, there she is. I fast traveled and got here. Boy, she's quick. Lorcan's eyes. Look at that big bastard. Keep your head down. Let's see what it does. No problemo. I'm good at keeping my head down. Yeah, Bill can take the brunt of everything. I don't think he's supposed to see us or he doesn't even pay attention to us yet. He's looking right at me. It's a little unsettling. I'm just such a non-threat to him. He's like, hey, whatever. If you want to watch, that's fine. Okay, let's see what you're so worked up about, Dolphine. Steady. I don't know what's happening. Let's watch and wait. This guy did spring me from jail. We're kind of cool right now. Okay. You afraid of this? This is Bones, Dolphine. Would you run from Callista Flockhart? See, I should be able to understand this, right? I'm using the voice now. You do not even know our tongue, do you? Oh, you speak English. Fantastic. To dare take for yourself the name of Nova. I did not take that. They Sorry gave it to me. It was Vilkus' fault. Vilkus, you're going to learn. You're going to be a scapegoat for a lot of shit. Okay, now, this guy, Sadler, or whatever the hell, he does see us. So, time to fight. Skirt the rock. Use the bow. Let Vilkus do the whacking. And take the flame in the face. I am Salok. Hear my voice and despair. You ain't shit to us. Oh, Bilks had enough. He's like, ah, shit, I'm on fire. True Nord. Dragon obviously doesn't know. My voice more. has been silent for too long. He's really not paying attention to me. I like that. Shit, did, I think Vilka set me on fire. <laughs> He's like, if I'm gonna burn, I'm gonna go touch you with it. Okay, you coming back? Dragons, they're, they're, they have the attention span of a gnat. Like I was having this huge battle with Vilkas and two other idiots. And now there's a random wolf over here, so I'm gonna start attacking it. I don't even have a, a red dot. He's bloody though. He's, he's, t he's gone a few rounds. <laughs> I love a Me too. Oh, I saw a mammoth. Did you fuck up and just walk into a giant camp like I almost did? Oh, baby. That's one, that's one guy you don't mess with in this game. Oh, he's beating his ass. Oh. Thank you, giant. Thank you so much. Giants are awesome. Dolphine, did you see that? But a damn dragon is like a, a pony to a giant. Okay, I guess I gotta talk to you. This fight should have taken place over here where we were, so I wonder how this mechanic's gonna handle it. Where are you? Hello? Where you going? Oh shit, you're not running back home, are you? My cousin disappeared one night. Some say the Thalmor You guys, there was a dragon fight right over there, did you notice? Okay. Oh shit, I'm not gonna have stamina enough to catch up to her to talk to her. I need to talk to her to stop her, probably. 
Get him out. Come on, you can do it, bro. Come on. I never use these potions. I'm like most people, hardly ever use potions. Thank God I haven't been selling them off like I normally do. Because this is one time I need my cardio up. She's like a Kenyan. Yep, stop. That was well done. It was. Come on. About the I've been giant. A closer look at one of these buggers. Okay, she didn't. Oh, is she, okay. Is she running too? Maybe she's running to where the. Oh shit! She's running into a giant camp. Oh, this could be a, that was a funny well Bethesda. Oh god! Come There's on. the giant standing right I've been there. Been wanting a closer look at one of these buggers. This could be a Bethesda nightmare right here. Let's see if it aggro's on her. He's minding his own business. He just murdered a dragon. It's just like he just had sex. He's like, I'm just going to go smoke now. He's Wait, all sated, happening. satisfied. God's above. Let me have the car the carcass. Thank you, sir. Really are. That could have been bad. Pressed, Delphine. I'm also a madam, by the way. Uh, it's true, isn't it? You really are dragonborn. It's the least of my accomplishments in this game so far. I owe you some answers, don't I? owe you some answers, don't I? Go ahead. Yeah. Whatever you want to Who's know. Who's your trainer? Nothing held back. I'm one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were Dragon Slayers, and we served the Dragon like Wesley Snipes Blades? The greatest Dragon Slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose up, is right? clear again. We need to stop them. All right. How do I end this quickly, this the conversation? The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. Okay. Before the Great War, the Blades helped the Empire against the Thalmor. Our Grandmaster saw them as the greatest threat to Tamriel. At the time, that was true. Maybe it still is. So we fought them in the shadows. All across Tamriel, we thought we were more than a match for them. We were wrong. Not enough stamina, huh? Nothing solid, yet. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. Coincidence? And now the dragons are attacking everywhere. I think not. Indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. I'm looking forward to the weekend. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? Everybody's working for the weekend. If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. Sounds easy. Problem is, that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. Tighter they could teach the me a few things about paranoia. Dolphin. <laughs> mm, I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Not with your jogging skills. eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought that dragon was going to give us more problems, but Vilkas is a... He's a damn good tank, so... And there's another dragon. Alright, this is getting ridiculous now. Okay, so let's take Horny Jurgen's horn back to the, the Greybeards and see what they say. Alright. Put it away, Vilkas. Keep it in your pants, buddy. We're going in to see the old man. Walk around with that thing hanging out in the nursing home, would you? Where's everybody? Oh, yeah. Meditating. Gotcha. Ah, you've retrieved the horn of Jürgen Rimkola. I got the well horn done. of Jürgen. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me 
It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. All right. You are ready to learn. The You'd be amazed how many times I've played this game for hundreds of hours and never gotten to this point in this quest. <laughs> Always sidetracked. It's the law of the land. Prepare to be impressed, Vilkas. These guys are like the greatest cheer squad in the oh. land. With all three words together, now this gives you the full Fushro Da. Much more the full knock your companion off a mountain shout. Master or clear a dining room table Master shout. speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled Get ganged by four old men. But you are ready. Told you, Locus. Everybody put your hands up. Making the balls tingle a little bit. Oh, this can't be good for me. You have tasted the voice of the Greybeards. And it was nasty. True, unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. Alright, thanks. What if you get a room here? Or a bed? I've never checked that. Since you're kind of one of them now. I do have a beard. Not quite that long, but once you go see the, the facelifter or whatever the hell in Riften, you can change your look. I can get a new beard. Right. This is the full shout. Yeah, that thing can do some damage right there. In the right circumstance. Definitely keep people off their feet. Okay. Keep that main quest line going. Head on back to our hometown. Everybody miss me. Hey, Bob. I really got to get some furniture in here. I know I picked up some dragon bones, and that's a lot of weight. So we got to at least get rid of those things. For later on, in case we ever get the, the crafting stuff going. If I ever do get the crafting stuff going, I'll have to do that off camera. You know, that repetitive, you know, craft, 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 just to, you know, get your skill up. I wouldn't put y'all through that. I'm not that mean. Wear that. I am kind of all over the place with all my, my stuff. Okay, put the Skyforge stuff up. I need to find him some good old, either some Dwarven armor, maybe some uh, some Ebony stuff. That'd be cool. Turn him into the, the was that the Ebony Knight? One of the meanest mothers in this game. Oh, let's see what we got. Okay. 
Okay, the Shrine of Azura. Okay, this is one of the Daedric artifacts that you need to get. And basically, um, these, uh, the soul stones or whatever the hell they're called. This is, uh, you use them to recharge weapons and to, cr and to craft and all that kind of stuff. But they get used up when you use them. So, um, Azura Star is an actual unbreakable uh, stone. You just it's it's just refillable, and it's refillable with like the the top top of the line stuff. You know, a human soul or whatever. So it's the the grand grand souls. And while I'm thinking about that, I have not been soul trapping anything. You should do this pretty early in the game because once you start getting all these empty empty soul gems and stuff. Um, you need to start filling them up, you know, quick, sooner rather than later. So, what I need to do is run up to Dragon's Reach, get to the the enchanting table, and make my bow a soul trap bow, so that every time I kill something with it, if it's able to, and if I have an appropriate soul gem in my inventory it'll start filling it up and you can use those for crafting and recharging magic weapons later. I have anything to disenchant. Okay, so first you pick the item, then you pick the enchantment. I don't have many, but I do have Soul Trap. I don't need four seconds and the fewer the seconds, hopefully I kill it in one shot. Um, the fewer the seconds, the more charges you get out of it. So. Uh, after like a hundred and something shots, you're going to have to refill this with a soul gem. A decent enchantment, but keep studying. You've only scratched the surface. So now I have the soul bow. I usually rename it soul bow, but not right now. I don't have time for naming shit. Okay, now I got my soul bow. My inventory is filled with uh, empty soul gems. So kill a wolf, kill a spider, kill any of the animals out here. It's going to immediately fill one of those gems. You'll see when I start doing it. I know 90% of you out there that are watching this that have played this game and know more about it than I do, but just for the that one guy, you know, sitting in his mom's basement. Well, no, no. That one guy that has a life, good job, family, you know, never played Skyrim. That guy. I'm trying to... Oh, shit. Okay, dragons are getting ridiculous already. Every time I fast travel, I can't have one of these guys climbing up my ass. Can't even see him. Oh, there he is. Yeah, you flew over the town. You're probably going to get distracted now. And I know there's a spawn up here. There's some kind of animal that's going to try to come... Oh, okay. There he is. He did find me. Silk is doing his job. Okay, so if you only have lesser common, you know, petty or whatever, and you try to kill something with a grander soul, usually the bigger the animal, the bigger the soul. Uh, it, it'll either say you didn't resist it, or you don't have a soul gem that can hold the, the soul. If you get what I'm saying. On the opposite side of that, if you have, like, a grand soul gem, which is supposed to be, like, either a human or, or some type of uh, really big soul... Um, you don't want to kill like a spider or something because it will put like a petty soul into a grand soul gem. So you got to be real careful about when you do kill stuff with, with the, the soul bow and make sure that you kill something appropriate and don't waste a soul gem. These grand ones, they're expensive to buy if you do buy them. And uh, they're more rare, obviously. Okay, come on. I play the tree game, man. I do this all day. Usually I'm a master of conjuration by this time, and I have like a, a flame thrall or a storm thrall that's whacking at him the whole time. But dragging it back to town is also a good, a good, uh, good strategy. Many bows make light work. My grandpappy used to say before he took an arrow to the knee. 
Okay, get him. Yeah, we got him down now. I think if you injure these things enough, they keep flying. I don't know if you have to hit them specifically in the wing. There we go. That was all me, guys. Step back, please. All right, all right. You see that, Vilkas? That shot I did? Ooh, it tickles. It tickles. It's up under your armor. All right, y'all clean that mess up. Like, don't even leave any meat on it. You know, take the soul, but also all of this, the flesh and stuff. Those guys could have used the scales and, uh, you know, had a big barbecue. But no, no. I strip it and just leave a skeleton there for them. And I think those things are pretty persistent after you kill them. I believe you can come back for a pretty good while. Yep, I knew it was gonna something was going to be there. Oh, he found a goat. That's right, go get that goat. And you can come back and there'll still be like a, a dragon skeleton just hanging out in the middle of the town where it fell. Like Black Hawk Down right in the middle of town. Watched that movie last night, Black Hawk Down. And it's a damn good movie. I've only seen it about a hundred times. I think when things are true stories like that or based on, loosely based on true stories, uh, always makes it more interesting to me. If you like military movies, you know, that's a good one if you've never seen it. A little ice wraith. Hate those things. Always miss because they're so hard to, to get a hitbox on. So ethereal or ephemeral or whatever the hell that word is. All right, Vilkas. You scared the ice wraith off. Good job. I'm not a master alchemist, but I think the ice wraith teeth are... That's a good ingredient, I believe. I think it's pretty expensive if you buy it in a shop. So usually that means it's... For one of you alchemists, really good potions. <clears throat> Mountain climbing. This place can be kind of a pain to get to. You can mountain climb in this game, but it's it can take a while. And I don't want to put y'all through that. So this one, you kind of circle around. I do this from memory. And it kind of loops you around to the, um, the stairwell or the staircase leading up to it. Stairway to heaven, so to speak. Wolves. Let's see if we can get a long shot. Sniper. Boom. Okay, and there's a soul. I just captured the soul as well. Okay. Can I get two long shots in a row? <laughs> yeah. Matthew Quigley. Yes, I am. Okay, so I filled up two souls. I think... Um, I want to say wolves are either petty or lesser or something like that. But also when you're trying to, you know, upgrade enchanting, you know, if you enchant little things, you know, like daggers or whatever, uh, with just those little petty soul gems, then uh, it up, ups your enchanting skill for one, and it makes the item obviously way more valuable. So it's a great way to make money. You got a little iron dagger, throw an enchantment on it, and now it's worth more than... More than most swords. Okay, Erene and Elena. Azura has seen your coming, traveler. It was not curiosity, but fate that has led you here. Okay, let's yeah. This shrine was built by the Dunma. I always feel so bad trying to get through these, and brimstone. these uh, Azura's speech led us to safety. You know, these conversations so quickly. Dagger, Somebody put in a lot of thought into writing these things. And <laughs> from beyond it's not like I haven't late. made their money, getting their money she worth out of it. You know, I've played this game so much. Champion. But, you know, the, the deal you just you skip through. You must go to you know. a fortress, endangered by water yet untouched by it. Ooh, sounds intriguing. Inside, you will find an elven mage 
who can turn the brightest star as black as night. It is cryptic, I know, but Azura's signs are never wrong. I believe the fortress may refer to Winterhold. Ask if they know this elven enchanter. Fortunately, I know exactly where this guy may is. Azura's magic protect you. See, this is one of those, um... Now keep a level up, because at the end of this quest, it is a bitch of a fight. Or can be. Especially for novices like me. So I need an instant power or an instant uh, life up, so. Hold on to that level up. I heard the dragon. Oh, there's a dragon shrine near here. Vilkas looks unconcerned, to say the least. Okay, so I need to go talk to an elven mage and pretty much what it is is this guy you have a choice you can get this artifact then you can give it to one or the other and the ultimate thing is do you want a uh, uh, a black star or a white star and I'm pretty sorry, much it's uh, can you put human souls in it and that's what you want you want the human soul so every time you kill a human you, you fill that thing with a, a grand grand soul I've okay. already corrected it for future experiments this. This is why people have a problem with your college, Nelikar. I don't deal with any college applicants these days, so don't bother asking. All right, Mr. Snooty Pants. Who sent you? Was it the college? The Jarl? We agreed there would be no more questions. You're working with the Daedra? Right. Now tell me the one about the Argonian Maid and the Lusty Baron. Ooh, I don't know that one. I know the lusty Argonian maid. Maybe it's that from that Just book. Just calm down. I'll tell you everything. What do you know about soul gems? They are, except the gem is always consumed. They're frail, except for one. Azura's star, a daedrit artifact that allows any number of souls to pass through it. Some of us wanted to find out how. I was working under Malin Varan then. If only we knew what he was really planning. Well, then he's welcome to eat and drink at home, isn't he? Malin wanted to alter the star. He was dying, disease. He thought he could store his own soul inside, become immortal. Sounds like a plan. It drove him mad. Students started dying. Eventually, the college exiled. Eventually? Him. He took a few loyal disciples to Illinolta's <laughs> deep. <laughs> All your and students vanished. are dying. Can we talk Look, to you about this? I don't this? care who asked you to find the star. Tuition is suffering. Take it back to Azura. The Daedra are evil. They're the reason Malin went insane. Oh, the Daedra aren't that bad. Come on. Until next time. Did you get all that, Vilkas? Okay, he's got a photographic memory. Okay, so first step is to find the artifact itself. Then you can either take it back to the shrine, which you don't want to do. You want to take it back to uh, the elf guy in the, uh, in the tavern there. Closest thing will be the old guardian stones. Back to the original. I haven't even tried to change out my guardian stone yet. I hadn't found another one. Since we're going to eventually clear the realm, have every marker on the map done, I'll, I'll probably go through every single guardian stone at one point or another. Alright, and we hike once again. Oh, wow. Y'all didn't waste any time, did you? Okay, I'll take some souls. How about that? Shot right underneath your body. Couldn't do that again if I tried. Eat it. Get something on your face. Having the soul trap on your bow is just a... It's a great thing. It always feels like you're accomplishing something, even when you kill the little piddly, uh, piddly creatures in this game. Nice little lakefront property here. Very pretty. Probably full of slaughterfish. Okay. 
don't know if I've ever seen that dock. <laughs> oh crap. I'll try not to get markers unless I'm going to actually go in them. I'll forget where I've been, so that brittle shin pass. Hopefully we'll make it back to it at some point, if I remember. I'm sure you guys will remind me. Okay, so we have a flood issue with this property. Insurance is horrible. Okay, and Alta's deep. Okay, so nothing treacherous in here, I can tell, you know, perfectly normal looking. And where is my buddy Vilkus? Where are you? I think I want to call it a part here, but I hear something. Is that crab right there on my ass? Really? Wow, bounce that arrow right off his forehead. Okay. Try that for a second time. Let it. Okay, there is a, another crab. What just. Okay. Red lobster it is. Okay. Anybody else? More local uh, fish life want to be over here? There's my boy. Thanks for catching up, man. Okay, now we'll call it a part. Thank you so much for joining me on Mad Cardigan. Uh, and we will see you in the next one.